What's up people, Manor here, coming to you with a video. This time we're going to be showing you how to replace the battery backup of your ADT security system. If you get a logo like that, that says BAT, uh, that does not mean it's a signal for Batman, but it means that the backup battery of your system needs to be replaced. Uh, the process is fairly easy. So the process is fairly easy. First, you go to myadt.com, log in using your login credentials. Uh, again, myadt.com, then key in your login ID, key in your password, click on the login button right here. And once you are in your alarm system panel, click on the alarm system from the ribbon on the left hand side. Once you click on it, click on the system tab, which is the second tab on the top, then select the duration. Uh, for the install, while it can be done in 20, 30 minutes, uh, set it to an hour or two hours that way you're not rushing yourself once you select the duration just click on the start test mode and again you have to go to the same website once the install is done to take the system out of the test mode uh, to do that again simple process log in on the ribbon click on alarm system then click on system test and then stop test mode will be there with the timer just click on that and that will take the system out of the test mode and once you have put your security system in to test mode uh, by going to myadt.com you need to find where your security backup panel is and you need to find this brick uh, that is there uh, either a you can disconnect it from the power or you can just turn that power switch off once you do that you need to open this case and replace it with the battery and this is the the battery that i got from adt uh, and it's pretty straightforward red and black terminal go to red and black wire red is positive black is negative and in some cases uh, there is no latch on the backup system there are going to be two screws that you can unscrew using a power drill similar to the one that I have, uh, it just takes a couple of seconds. And once you have the, the panel open, just remove the battery and replace it with the new one. Again, the black wire goes to the black port, the red wire goes to the red port. Also, it's a really good habit to put the date that the battery is being installed. That way you know how long it's gonna last. In this case, the battery was installed in 2016. It is 2020 right now, so you can get an idea of how long the battery is going to last uh, also um, forgot to mention one more thing when you're disconnecting the terminal disconnect the black port first then go to the red one and the connecting order is going to be in the reverse connect the red one first then the black one the new battery is in and always make sure to power on the system test the system before closing it that way, if there are any issues, you can rectify them. All right, the power has been restored. And the biggest difference that I noticed right off the back after connecting the battery is the Batman signal logo that I was showing uh, that has gone and the panel has also lit up. It has got green. Uh, it's also worth pointing out, initially, once I turned on the power, the system did beep. I had to go in and key in the code and push one or off uh, to get that done. Once that is done, now I'm going to replace the two screws that were there. And once that is done, I'm going to take the system out of the test mode from by going to myadt.com. Additionally, what I will also recommend is to test the system once the install is done uh, by keying in the code and pushing on number five uh, that says test. Uh, hopefully you guys like this video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys and girls on the next video. Later, people. Bye.